Uh, it's a space to be a really challenging problem, uh, quite a difficult one to conceptualise because it's a problem that's going to happen. We know it's going to happen. We've had a few examples so far, uh, uh, of historical examples, of where uh, we've had collisions in space that have been very, very uh, 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 catastrophic, um, destroying the spacecraft involved and leaving large clouds of debris. Now, the real challenge is trying to conceptualise exactly what that means in terms of use of space. Um, space is actually quite big and uh, even in the, uh, the orbit around Earth, there's a lot of uh, empty space in, be in between these pieces of debris. So what we need to do is understand how large they are and how they're moving and where they're going to be. So when you actually launch a spacecraft, you know, the rocket bodies are broken up into s different stages and a lot of the debris is spent rocket bodies just in orbit. Uh, those are easy to track because they're large elements, but such as the small flecks of paint coming off the rocket bodies, uh, they're, they're very difficult to track. Any non-functioning piece of, of rocket or spacecraft that's past its end of life is debris. So it's actually large pieces of dead spacecraft are more dangerous than very small pieces of spacecraft because the cross-sectional area of the satellite is so small on a CubeSat compared to a much larger satellite that the probability of it hitting something else is a lot smaller. Well, space debris has been perceived as a growing problem for those of us who are building and operating satellites around the Earth. Um, it's led to the development of new rules for how we build satellites, in particular to make sure that at the end of their working lives, they can reduce the chances that they will produce debris, that they can be brought down to Earth, burned up safely in a controlled way. And that's meant that we're having to build more sophisticated satellites in the sense to have propulsion systems on board that can ensure that at the end of life they are brought down safely and do not contribute any more to debris. It's also been a, a, an issue for us in building satellites that have the agility to avoid debris, even at very early stages in their, their lives, to make sure that they're not at risk of any damage. 